it's a common belief that when a woman is financially comfortable, mm. the spouse may develop reserved feelings towards <clears> her. <throat> There's an mm. online tweet by a Nigerian man saying, once you allow your wife to secure a good job, a good paying job actually, from the moment she starts receiving bank notification, your marriage will be plagued with problems. <laughs> she might start assuming herself as a family head safe. Why are you would sign us? Ah, like, what's all this? What is, <laughs> you don't understand. Let me let this sister. Let me let this sister because me, I don't understand your matter. The thing is, what kind of a wife do you want to have that you won't allow to work? These days, people are running away from liabilities. You want to be able to contribute as much as your wife is contributing. And in a home, it should be like we are pulling forces together. You're bringing in something and bringing, you take off the load from one particular person. With all due respect, BC, I would, my dream is just to be at home. Are you kidding? Yes, I'm very sure. My dream is my husband is making a lot of money that I can actually just have somebody massaging one leg here and now I'm massaging <laughs> this leg there and I'm my body I'll, I'll, and the soup is boiling there and they're bringing it to me. I'll, get, I'll get depressed. No, you wouldn't. Eh? Yes, no, I get you depressed. Wouldn't. No, when you I'm wouldn't. Not working, Trust me. There'll be activities to do. You go out. Kind of you see the sun. You see depends. the moon. If you go out. Clearly. Clearly. Let me finish. Hold on. If you have a dream to be something, right? You should be given the opportunity to be that. Yes. What makes love sweet is the fact that my husband can support my dreams. Now, I won't let it get into my head that I'm earning money or I'm earning more money. Mm -hmm. I understand that part. Mm -hmm. But support me, make me happy. My kind of person, I can't stay home. I'm glad it's your kind of person. Yeah. Yes, Papa. Right. This man's tweet, no be lie. The truth of the matter is, in a lot of marriages, an empowered woman threatens the marriage. And it's not necessarily based on the man's insecurity. It is based on the woman feeling empowered. I now have a voice. I can choose to do A, B, C, D mm -hmm. without asking for permission. The man's tweet isn't a lie. So we shouldn't just make it look like... The man isn't saying a woman shouldn't make money. He's saying that once the woman starts making money, it will cause problems in the what house. Is that she shouldn't make money. Shouldn't okay. Make money. No, 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 no. The issues are on ground. When women, when a woman in most cases makes more money than the man, there's a feeling I can make decisions without the man, and that's a problem. That's and, we must address, more money. This, and we must address women that feel that way. Because when you are in a marriage, you are in a partnership with your husband. You, is, your decisions are made in partnership with him. Just the same way, his decision, whether he's the breadwinner and he's making a lot of money, should be made in partnership with you. Right. The issues that happen is, this man is saying, most of the time when the woman can, can make that decision, I can decide to travel without my husband, because I can, I, can, I can pay for my trip. I can buy a house without my husband because I can afford to pay for it. Hmm. Then you're no longer in that marriage. Then the marriage is threatened. That's a fact. See, this is a perception issue to me. You know, most people, you hear this said in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but it's not only in Nigeria even abroad as well, people have that perception. But you know, abroad in America, they actually have statistics to show that families where the wife um, contributes, contributes to the bottom line is actually a happier marriage and the husbands are happy. No. So for us, not earning Yeah, more. we're getting there. He didn't mention so, more. He did not have, mention more, he just said that she's earning money. But okay. so that is there. So, you know, this perception that we have, I think it's actually an, an, an archaic and old mentality. It's, mm. it's a mindset. But I think that the average Nigerian man is happy to have his wife contribute to their family, you know, to a family. Not average. The average, I think. <laughs> now, <laughs> the modern Nigerian man, we really. See, the modern Nigerian, Nigerian man. You know what? Different. Because it's, it's teamwork. And when you are able to do that, then you're able to provide even more for yourself and for your Nigerian children. Man is not let me tell you, yes. let me just finish. Let's go back to the woman that now grows wings and whatever. You know what, if a woman, we have heard stories of women being in abusive and oppressive marriages, but are unable to leave because of their financial situation. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So would you blame a woman now who yes, has now achieved this right. empowerment, you know? Some, uh, all of a sudden her business picks up or she gets a job. She has now a choice to either stay in this oppressive or abusive yeah, different situation. situation. We're talking or, you know, of a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. You see, I think the problem I have is the, the mentality that men feel is I have to have control over, over you. you. I am your head. They've told me you are the neck. I'm in charge. So every single thing about you, I must have full control over it. Now, even though the woman is earning more, mm. usually, I don't know, like, well, the women me I know, Sha, they would never be rude to their husbands. Mm. The women yeah, I, I know, know. They, 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 they have, I'm getting, there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. The women I know are empowered enough to hold their own. <laughs> However, the interpretation 
of that confidence to the man. Yeah. Is what you're the one interpreting it like as if, oh, she's not have confidence, not has confidence. But the woman is like, is. Like, she's just, is. She the just being is. herself. Our culture has made it so that women are supposed to be at home. Now, it's a cultural perception. Women are supposed to stay back, take care of the kids while the man goes out to work. Now, when God blessed them in the scriptures from the beginning, he blessed male and female. If you read the book of Genesis chapter 2, male and female. So he didn't say, the male, I bless you, the female, stay back and okay. take care of the home. I, I get the point, but I, I want to also address the issue of you earning, you that blessing, clean. having it more than you the man. You might not know when you would react or when your behavior would, ter would be termed as that way. So for the fact that I'm earning money, I don't need to ask my husband I want to go and watch a movie. You should I, tell him you're going to watch a movie. I just, I, 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 was at, I was bored in my studio and I just said, I have money. The movie is raining. Let me go and watch a movie. But imagine if, I, if this situation was flipped, that I am cashless. Hmm. I would I'll have been begging him for the past three days. How does that make you feel? That, Hello. You. Hang mm -hmm. there, hang there. I'll have been begging him for like, I want to go and watch a movie. I'll be needing... 1K for the movie, 1K for popcorn, and you have to let him know ahead so that he will plan the money. Right. It, it's two different things. Right. So when, when the man feels that, is, she's always asking me whenever she's doing anything, and suddenly you don't ask me again. You just say, I, I, I'm going to watch a movie. I'll see you ahead. Yeah. Do you understand? You still tell him, but you're not asking for permission. So the that man is always doing that. submissive anymore. Mm. Yes. You don't look prideful. Yes. Because I'm making money. The no. issue. Let me take this call. Go ahead, please. Yeah, the issue of uh, my, uh, woman making money. Uh, it's a problem in Nigeria <laughs> because most of them they don't respect their husband anymore. Hey, it's very good. It is very good for a woman to make money. They say, can two work together, they take their agree. Mm. So if this one is bringing, this one is bringing, it's very good. But most of women these days they don't respect their husband if they begin to earn money. That's right. the problem. Point taken. I think the issue really is with the men. Yes. yes. If you already no, have insecurities, see, if you too. already have insecurities, if your confidence is in how much you give your wife or how much is in your pocket, I guess, yes, you would feel threatened when that is no longer the source of your confidence. Mm -hmm. So your confidence should not be about mm -hmm. how much money you're giving or collecting. It should be in the relationship you have are with you, your wife. You really are you respectful to your, your wife? Everybody feels that is the man's responsibility to be confident and self-assured every time. But I'm saying that a woman has a role to play. Yes. And you might not be conscious of it, but you're rubbing it in. Mm -hmm. And we know that in most cases, we, the, the men are already brought up to see it that way, that I am the provider. For me. So I'm saying, for me I'm saying that as a woman, and I'm speaking to the women, I know that you guys are addressing the men. I'm speaking to the women that, courtesy, just give a little courtesy. Don't just take it for granted. I, I could afford to pay for my flight to travel, and I was ready to do it. Now, I just told him, I just told him, I'm going to go for this conference in Kineko Kineko. And that was the end. But it's a different thing if he was going to be the one financing it. Right. Do you understand? Right. So there, there are two things to play. You All are right. a team. Let me, let me take this call from you Jalingo. We have to bring our guest in to see who are views on this. But let me take this call from Jalingo. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, Bobby. On a serious note, if, if, if there's trust and love, I see no reason why a husband would be jealous because his wife is doing her lot. I mean, mm -hmm. she's a support. She disrespects The Bible me. says it, and Islamically, it, it, it's mentioned in the Quran. For, for, if, if there's love and trust mm -hmm. and that care, there's, not, there's nothing wrong in, 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 in your wife actually working and earning something because there's no condition that is permanent. Yeah. Well done, and God bless you all there. Thank, Thank you. you. I was in that situation Can before. I quickly I'll say I'll let you, that? I was in a situation where I was earning a lot of money at the time, and... My husband would look at me as in, you, your money, your post, your official car, I own all of you together. Before, exactly. So he has no issues. He had enough confidence at the time. So yes, he, 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 he was an extremely on, considerate and respectful person. Oh, you are on. an extremely hold considerate on. and respectful person. Hold and on. you must put that out there. Hold you were not in any way rude. The, the thing is, yeah, the but thing then is, don't, don't make women really who... There are certain women who, because naturally, they will tell you that in Africa, our women are not wired to provide. So when they start taking up that responsibility, they tend to become rude. Mm. You can easily tell a man, a woman ah. who, yes, a woman who is taking care of the home more than the man, a yeah. man who is laid back. You see the way the wife will talk to the man outside and all of that. It's a natural thing. 
for our women because of the mindset, the cultural mindset that we have, that is the man that is meant to provide. So but in a modern day, no, right. in a modern day where you know that we are working this together, together. even if I earn more than you, for me, I have a, a, the same purse and I don't know who owns exactly. what. Exactly. So we make all the plants together and we spend all together. When I lost uh, 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 my job and I was home for a long time, you can't even tell that I wasn't working. Right. Right. Even when I have more money, I still take permission, or not right. permission, so to say, I tell you when I have to right. go and see right. a movie. Right. You should know my whereabouts. Exactly. It's so not because I have money Let me to go take myself. a break. We have to go on a quick break uh, because this is, this is an interesting topic. We need to actually share our experiences because a lot of people are there going through this right now. Let's take a break. When we come back, our celebrity gets takes the couch and we'll ask her views on this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's Genevieve. Morning. Uh, the reception guest say make I come. Receptionist. To... All right. She so say you want to saw me. You wear UK size twelve, right? Size twelve. Ha. Ah, now size twelve I wear. I know they wear big size. Sometimes I look big. If, if it's you like talk this. too much. If you're going to work here, you need to talk less. Understood? Uh, all right. Sorry, ma. Here's your uniform. Strictly black pants, and you can wear orange, black, or white shoes. Okay, ma. Auntie, please let me tell the truth. I know you're this. What you are saying? I said strictly black pants, trousers, shoko toe. Okay, ma. And you can wear orange, white, or black shoes. Black trousers. We feel the way at your That was that was good. Shoko toe. Diana, you're kidding me. Not be a face on every movie poster in Hollywood. But she's a talented British Nigerian performing artist and professional tap dancer. Whoa. I Definitely an actress that. and with lots and lots of potentials. She was nominated in 2014 as the most promising actress category at the edition of the Golden Icons Academy Movie Awards. Welcome to the show, Diana. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So you heard our conversation earlier. I did. Concerning the fact that men obviously feel threatened once women start earning yes. much more than them. What are your thoughts on this? It's about insecurities. There's no people say, don't talk about men's insecurities, but it's about insecurities. It's about validation. If you feel you need that power move to validate yourself as a man, that's a problem. Yeah. You, I feel that whole, I have to collect money from my husband to do anything, it's a power move. Mm -hmm. I personally feel a man saying, you must work, you, you must not work, you must stay at home, is a power move. Mm. It's just to basically control what you're doing. That's yes. just how I feel personally, though. So I, I said that, and, and I understand that part. Okay. And, I'm, and I totally agree that, yeah, they need to deal with themselves. But don't, don't you think we should talk to the women who tend to rub it in? So okay. you know that you're earning more money and that you rub it in. I hear what you're again. saying, because you had said that you're very, like you're, you are a considerate human being, so we can't you, use you as the yardstick. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. There are some women who, for like a warning, mm. I hear what you're saying, but then, you're right, women should deal with their own insecurities. Because when you have tons of money, there's no reason to rub it in to right. your husband. But I still go mm -hmm. back to saying, it's, if you feel that money validates you, we all need to work on our persons. Mm -hmm. right. That's, That's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Well, well, right of, and then you know what? I think we should be careful not to mix issues here. A, a, a disrespectful wife is a disrespectful mm. wife, whether she earns money or she doesn't earn She's money. Just you understand? So if she starts to earn money and there's just something about power. It. There's something about money that sort of brings everything exactly. out. Well, that's, well, that's no, 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 but that it brings who it brings you are already. Are. This yes. is who you are already. It has mm -hmm. nothing ah. to do with money. Yeah. Just just the money. Exactly. So that's what we're doing here. Have. The type of friendship and relationship, that foundation of your relationships, that ex that's what shows if you're going to have a happy marriage or not. Mm -hmm. Money, no money. Are you happy when you had no money? Are you happy when you have money? Right. That has so much to do with do it as well. How you handle money. What happens really is the fact that when both people are working, the wife and the husband, they both go out, hustle, come back late and tired. Now the man sits back in the couch, mm -hmm. 
expecting you to get into the kitchen, you both face the same traffic, the same lashing from your bosses That's and all an of that. Issue. Get into the kitchen, make his food for him, he eats, he goes to bed, you have to sort out the kids, you have to do this, you have to do that. And tomorrow it repeats itself. Oh, now the day. woman starts to feel, I'm doing much more. We both are hustling together. Right. You should be considerate. You should help me out exactly. in the kitchen sometimes. So the consideration should, should be on both sides. Yes, yes. and that's yes. why yes. 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 So, Let's go to being a single woman. Because as a single woman in Nigeria, they, they tell you that don't get a house. Don't get, don't drive, don't drive a flashy car right. because you don't want to chase it with them. You don't want the men to feel like I'm earning so much money that, ah, you know, we can you come. borrow so I'll no more, that kind of thing. If Do you, what, what are I have a huge issue with that. If I, as a single woman, which I am, I'm going to wait with the way society is now and the way men are, you know, <laughs> I'm going to wait till a man marries me before I have property, before I want to take care of myself, before I treat myself, before I travel, before I'm happy. You're meeting a shell of a woman, an empty shell of a woman. Yes. Yes. You're meeting an empty woman, so yes. do you want to marry me? Right. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm looking desperate, I'm right. looking desperate. Empty so that's shell. who you want to marry, an empty shell? No, you want to marry full. You want to marry someone who's bringing something, who's making, the you're going to grow that. together. We're going to, I'm going to build you, you're going to build me less, less. Yeah. Let's build this house, but yes. you cannot come and meet me. I'm half of a human being. And if that's the type of woman that you want, I'm going to resent you right. down the line, and it's, it's already yes, over. We have, I know, I, I, while, while single and dating, I met a man, and we were not dating, but my mom felt he was a really responsible person, person. and I was thinking, maybe I might like him. And then he told me one day that, hey, I cannot marry a woman that earns more than me. Okay. That very day, ended any prospects Prospect. of anything ever exactly. happening. Mm. We cannot deny that we have men in this space. And yes, we must use our platform to let them know that you must deal, there's a team. Mm. We're working together. I cannot be, we cannot, you cannot be as stressed as a, as a woman, as modern day woman. No man can be as stressed as a modern day woman mm. because she's coping with the she's whole a super lot. Woman. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that they say you can never see a person's true character until the person has money. money. Mm. Because you, you, you can't even know. I, there, there's a, we had a neighbor that was really Really, really humble, churchy, everything until he got a contract from the federal government. The moment he, 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 the money came in, he stopped going to church. Everything changed, and we saw him as a model. Whoa. So sometimes money just changes. You, you know, you feel that and, empowerment. And I, I agree like, I with you 100. percent There are women that money will flip the script, right. but there is something about that foundation of knowing someone. Right. You so can nine times out of ten, if someone someone's core values, when you meet them, they're showing signs already. Nice. You, you know when people that. will say things like, oh, like if someone angers them and say, I will ruin you. Okay. What kind of statements I, is that? I, us? I usually advise um, young people because I counsel both married and young people. And I tell them there are certain signs you see in the beginning of a relation, relationship that you shouldn't ignore. Now, when I was dating, I use myself a lot as an example. When I was dating, I noticed when I came into uh, the life of certain guys, they didn't want me to go into beauty pageants. They felt we can't, women who go into such things are prostitutes. Prostitutes, they are loose. You know, and exactly. they stopped me. And then I knew this can't go further. Right. When yeah. I started dating my husband, he follows me for auditions. When I did right. MBGN in 2005, right. okay. he was sitting down right. with me. So, so I knew this the kind person, of person you yes, right. And you know, I like the word Diana yeah. talked about the shell of a person. You know, you're getting Empty married to, uh, uh, to a shell. Because here you are pretending to be all these things that these men expect you to be. And then when you now get into their homes, Thank and then you. you now show yourself, all of a sudden they're like, Stop. it's because she's any more money that she has changed she's always so been first like that. of all exactly. so what do you actually want do you want a woman who is her full self do you understand before you get married to her and then when you and get see, married to her they, they don't know what they want until they know who they are that's mm. what it really comes down to and they don't know who they are know who they they are. Are. i don't want us to pass this is what you're saying because i always say it on this couch that women must find purpose mm -hmm. find who you are for you get into marriage because you enter the marriage and a whole lot of things come thrown at you and you, you make the wrong decisions you but if you have found you yourself you the man you sees are. you doing who you who are, you are being you. Supports you so when you come in and you're making money he supports that but when you when you all do as i'm the perfect mm -hmm. church girl you know, said yesterday okay. that no okay. pretense yeah because you cannot sustain pretense start as you mean to you, go on yes. hey, you yeah. will you get cannot tired sustain okay i have to come back yeah you mentioned the um empty shell you're mentioning or oh, women and um, men should get comfortable knowing themselves women should live their life the truth is some people don't discover themselves until they're in their forties mm. and I've met people like that that they actually right. came into themselves fully when they're in their forties be true to who you are you might not know what the entire vision is at 23 yeah. or 24 or 25 so and you might have to marry them let me come to you so how is dating in Nigeria how, mm? when did you move back to Nigeria <laughs> <laughs> I don't did understand you? the question <laughs> <laughs> when, did, when did you move home and how's dating been I moved to Nigeria in like 2012 okay so dating has been very interesting Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, we need to know I now. think there's so many 
I think for me being an actor, mm -hmm. that has a lot to do with it as well. Right. I think we had there was a stigma. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah there's a stigma there with is. actors and actresses, you know, that we're, you know, loose, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, cheerful givers, so to speak. <laughs> so, and which I'm not, by the way. Um, <laughs> I think that's a big problem. And there's that whole submissive energy. I'm an entertainer. I'm larger than life sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm quite bubbly. I'm ferocious so sometimes. How do you so submit? you have that? I'm honestly very comfortable and grounded in who I am. And I would like someone who's going to come and join me on this journey and we'll figure it out. But I cannot submit Jeez. or just, de you know, debase myself. But do you think that's why you're so single? I, that, I, that's probably one of the reasons. But I don't have an issue with that because I feel like if I cave now, What's all the years of the world? I feel like I'm, I, I know who I am. You haven't so. I'm come just, this far. Yeah, I've come this far. I'm know? really comfortable mm -hmm. in who I am. So, so yeah. Well, you know, the average Nigerian man actually wants a wife that is more like a maid and yeah. a bearer of my children mm -hmm. that will take care of me. Like I'm not a machine. As opposed to Producer. just, you know, it's, it's not about, you're not seeing you so as you a like, human being. You could marry yeah. a white man. Yeah, they, they, well, they, that, they, just, they just want someone to come fulfill those roles. Those roles yeah. So they're not seeing you as an individual that has yeah. aspirations that you want to live your life. They just want you to fulfill that, be my wife, take care of me in the bed, take care of the house, take care of the children for me. Not that you have your own life to live. So, so, that is, so is you're, scary so you're thing, kind of man. Me. Have you ever seen him in Nigeria? You're kind, the kind of man you feel like, that has that, have that, have that have capacity. Him? Have you met him? If I did, it's probably short. But I don't think I've met him. Mm. No, I don't, I don't think I've met someone like that. You, you know you have a conversation with someone and you can say, I know if we can vibe. Exactly. Mm. And it's the first five minutes you're like, yeah, this isn't going to work. Yeah, right. So do you want to, if you were to compare <laughs> Nigerian men and... Whoever you dated um, abroad. You know, British men. I love our culture. Mm -hmm. I love being a Yoruba Muslim girl. I love it. And I love being able to have conversations with a man in Yoruba and be able to vibe on that level and, and just discuss our culture and be also preserve our culture, which is why I would love to end up with a Nigerian person. But at the same time, I'm quite, I'm quite liberal. Okay, let's, mm. <laughs> let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to get into her career and her aspirations. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. to stay with us so Diana hmm. I know you've been to several interviews and they've asked you all these questions but we really want to know number one how did you get into Jennifer's Diary okay so I did a play called Colored Girls in um, 2013 I think and then the yeah, Funke Akidele was also in the cast oh so we met oh, them yeah, we vibed, girls. became you know big sis little sis and then she said she was doing a show would I like to be on it, you know? And then at the time I was working on so many different things. So I couldn't be a regular, a season right, regular. Right. Mm -hmm. So then she had this, like, I don't have this character for you. You know, this is what I want, this is what I want. And then boom. Oh, <laughs> wow. Sure, yeah. How have you been able to navigate the uh, industry? We, because I been able to attend certain auditions and the massive crowd mm. that as in, in hundreds and thousands of people <laughs> that come in. And at the end of the day, the, the, the uh, movie industry still circulates faces, known faces, with little room for new people coming in. How have you been able to find your way around? When that? I first moved here in 2012, I did, whew, I did the, what I call the cattle calls, the wild, massive, Auditions. I did them for a while. So I did Surulira, I went to Igondo. I've never been to Igondo in my life. I was like, oh, this mm -hmm. is new. Mm -hmm. um, I did them for like, maybe like a couple months. Fortunately for me, I'd done a movie prior to that called EG okay. with Genevieve and oh, yeah. Genevieve. So it done really well. So people had already known me from that. Mm. So I didn't do it for too long, to be right. honest. So then after that, it was more closed auditions, Referrals. more private auditions, you know. Phone call. Exactly. I Can want to know. Something? You have an accent. I, was I do. I just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and we like accents in yeah. Nigeria. Yes. So Once you can speak for me, it tends to, do you think that it gave you it's an, an edge? I don't think so, because, ah, <clears throat> hey. <laughs> Because you have accent, you know people used to borrow accents, they used to rent accents. Mm -hmm. We're training accents, we need to teach accents. There's <laughs> plenty of accents. So I feel like, I don't, I think maybe like a slight edge, yes. but once the accent, once you've seen the accent, you've heard it now, now what can you back it up with work? Yes. Okay. So it helped a little bit. You're right, not, because now my, my grammar, 
my Steve security guard, my right. roadside oh, uh, body seller has all gone and come back. I'm telling so everybody you. has an accent. Yes, so it's like, oh, the give me something more than that. Right. Yes, Maria. Okay, so about the accent still. Um, when you, you know, like in other, like American movies, Hollywood yes. movies that we watch, we see them try to pick up different accents for their different roles. Yes. Are you able to pick up different local accents? Local accents? Do you have like a Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa accent? Can you do Igbo, Hausa, no. Oh. <laughs> I'll Yoruba? teach you Hausa, Hausa. I can be a proper Yoruba girl. Yeah. Who is a Yoruba? Who is a Yoruba dada? Right. Right. So I can try. Right. And it's, you know, I can yes. pass. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. You know, but then anyone that knows me is like, Dan, I know you're from London. But I'm like, again, <laughs> as long as... We but can break it down. Let's come to your style, Diana, because yes. you don't use the, I, I mean, the weaves and all the stuff like that. How do you, I mean, what got you to that point where you want to stay low cut and have that black we always look, like that. that chocolate look? Because a lot of Nigerians, once you enter Nollywood, it just gets lighter, it wants to be fairer, it wants to be mm. much more attractive. And I'm very happy for them. <laughs> I think for me, well, I started cutting my hair about 10 years ago. I went to, I trained in America. So when I moved to America, I lived in London my entire life. I moved to LA. My mom has been doing my hair my entire life. I was 17. And I said, oh, well, let me get braids. They told me like $400. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So I cut my hair off. Right. I was like, it was cheap and cheerful. Mm -hmm. right. So I kept cutting it. And then like five years ago, I got used to it. And I don't like hair. All the more my neck used right. to be hot. Right. Wig would just be crowding somebody's <laughs> destiny sometimes. Let so. me take this call from Hassan. Thanks for Good calling. Morning. Go ahead, yeah. please. Please, please, we are Africans. I will remain African. <laughs> Marriage is about security. Men will always feel threatened if a woman is successful because women find it very hard to handle success in our own clan here in Nigeria or Africa. So the issue of woman earning is for them to be able to manage it. They don't manage it. Right. And in Africa here, marriage is about subserviency. It's not a ah. partnership. This is it's exactly why we have the show. Because you take care of everything from head to toe. Chiniki. And even in the process of sticking your hands in marriage, hey. you promise to take care of everything of her. So by thinking that, you see, immediately ha. a woman decides or, you know, begin to assume the responsibility of a man, that marriage is really in shambles. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Hang, hang it. Thank you very much, Hassan. Hang in there. Okay. Thank you very much, Hassan. I think Good. I think Hassan has just given me an idea. Good. Mm. We need to do this topic again. again. This definitely. time we have all men seated. Yes. We have a women audience. Oh wow. And mm. then we have a conversation. Whoa. I agree. Because no we need to we need to rehear men because every call we've had today has mm. been from men. Yes. And they've all said, said the same well, thing. Well, right, but the issue and I had that issue. I had a conversation with somebody upstairs in the makeup room. And she was saying that I do everything. I pay all the bills. I said so. What exactly do you think she's doing? Mm. Right. You don't have a yeah. maid. She takes up the house. You get back home, you meet a meal. Right. She's not working. Right. She's she has perfect kids. trading. Wow. And, but I still finance everything. I say, so she, what do you think? I say, like, you think she's do the, doing with my worth. You don't think the worth of a woman. Let's really go back. You were birthed by a woman, your right. mother. Yeah. So one of the most pow we're powerful right. beings. Okay. See, See, okay. Then, my, 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 my carpenter and his wife had a fight. I think I mentioned it on the show mm. sometime before. She does so much work. She sells food at some parking lot somewhere. She comes back, takes the kids to school, and she's there struggling. Mm. And yes, you're a carpenter. Maybe you're making here with some little money here and there. Give her some respect. Yeah. Or she, I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to be kneeling down, be greeting her in the morning, but yeah. the fact that she's bringing the large chunk of the money, or she, even, even if you don't give her respect, but at least acknowledge Thank you. that, that something is coming in. The okay, African see, for me, the color called, the color, sorry, the color called from the North, I'm sure. And yes, there's a cultural thing where the man takes up all the responsibilities of the marriage while the woman is a stay-at-home mom. And I think there's something also about um, Islam that allows for the man to do that, um, um, take, take that his responsibility seriously. Do you understand? I think even in the Quran, there are things, you know, there are, it, it states categorically how you must take care of your wife. Okay. But this is the world that we live in. People are not good Muslims all the time, or good Christians, or good husbands. Even though your religion says do this and do this and do this, yet there are so many things that we do not do for our wives. The and there are wives, and you have your wives at home, yeah. not doing anything, and not right. able to even feed properly right. because, you know, exactly. the we man is unable exactly. to take care of. So we have to also look at the cultural part and right. maybe re-educate our mindset. So, right. I know you yes. have a movie, a play. You have to run up I know you have a yes. play. 
What's it about? So our son, the minister. So it's actually first show. We have two our shows. Son. To, our son, the minister. Ah, yeah. Say it so yes. fast, didn't yeah. <laughs> Our son, the minister. Yes. <laughs> so the play is today. So it's today, Saturday and Sunday, 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Terra Culture. Ah. It is a political satire. It is. It will. It will rejig your memory. You'll definitely leave having conversations. You know, it talks. We touch on social issues and what it's like to be in power. And if you do get that power, what do you do with it? Mm -hmm. How does your oh, family read? 3 p.m. Family... today? How does yes. your fa 3 p.m. today at Terraculture? I think I'm going to be there. No, I'm definitely, done. guys. Please come. It is a great, great performance. Great the show. pressure that okay. um, politicians go through from family members oh, feeling right. like, like our son, our son. No, no, because we had Vicky and Vicky yeah. yeah. mentioned that right. it's, it's, it's really going to drive home the point of you, you, the, you, how our, our family pressure pushes our politicians into corruption. Right. And right. even as they are there, is it that they started that way? Are they, well, have they always oh, been they that way? Because, you know, I have, I have a theory that everyone's just looking for an opportunity to steal. Right. Mm, yes, people are because waiting. Because everyone's like, oh, if I was president, mm. if I was, if I, I mean, was, get then, there. Well, when I get there. When you get there, go. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. All of a sudden. Oh, it's been such great chatting with you, yeah. Diana. We've yeah. got to bring you back. Definitely. Yes. On a Thursday, back, we are please. dealing with serious matters. I know what's common. Deal yes. with serious, serious, serious matters. matters. Because we need... We need so uh, yeah, you have a really nice glowing skin. Yeah. We need to really cause that shift in people's thinking. Yeah. Yeah. It's a serious problem we have in this country. It's mm -hmm. going to take a while, but we'll continue Africa. the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweets. That's Africa. all we can say. Can we can we drive some tweets, please? Yes. Erica Chai says, I totally agree with Tokma's point of view. We should take note that there's a thin line between pride and confidence. This is this I believe is where Tokwa is coming from. While the issue appears simple to debate about, the reality isn't. Andrew Instim says, but the girl, Diana Yakini, um, in that clip is a really, really funny one, you know. Yeah. Take two. So okay. Take um uh, Andrews, um no, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Um Rotimi says, Why would a man develop resent feeling because his wife is working? Is that is that one man? Is that one a man? Mm. Your wife earning money should make the finance of the family better. Yes, I believe so. so. Your stress. woman earning should be a plus. Besides, okay. she has her dreams and aspirations too. That's Andy wrote to me. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> that was a fantastic comment. We hope all men can understand that. All right, that's all we can take on the show today. Yay, Don't forget to join next week Wednesday's our live audience show. Every Wednesday we have a live audience here. It's fantastic. You don't want to miss it. But you have to come early. We can only take 30 people. So come early, dress nicely to come to join the conversation. And this men's topic, I don't know. Wednesday. We need to invite them. Wednesday. We need to invite Bring them and have a conversation. Couch. Yes. And thrash this issue properly. <laughs> have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday.